The bongo net is used to collect the zoo plankton. A bongo net consists of two plankton nets mounted next to each other. It gets its name because the frame resembles bongo drums. These plankton nets are ring nets with a small mesh width and a long funnel shape. Both nets are enclosed with a cone end that is used for collecting plankton. In this video, we will explain the step and method of sampling plankton using a bongo net. First, take the bongo net with flow meter to the winch and cable properly. Second, remember to record the initial reading of the flow meter before the bongo net is released into the water. Third, the bongo net is lowered into the water with a crane and winch system and vertically towed from 5 to 10 meters above the sea bottom for a few minutes with a boat speed about 1 to 2 knots. Ideally, the goal is to maintain the winch wire at angle 45 degree so that the water flow into the nets is parallel to the ocean floor. For measuring the angle, we will use inclinometer. The flat side of the inclinometer gets lined up with the wire and an arrow dangles down on the plate and marks the angle. Fourth, when the bongo net is pulled out, make sure to record the final reading of flow meter for further calculation of the volume of seawater filtered. Then, the bongo nets are rinsed with water to flush plankton to coat end of the net. The coat end is opened and the contents are flushed into a sieve. Fifth, the coat end and the sieve plate are rinsed several times before transferred it to the bottle sample. Hence, the bottle sample will be used in the future examination in labs. As we can see there is a flow meter at the mouth of each net that functioning to count the volume of water sampled. The spinning fins of the flow meter is the thing that activates the water volume counting device. So, basically, that's all the step of sampling plankton using Bangonet. Hope you guys understand and enjoyed the video we have made. Thank you.